Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 11 of our data visualization class. Um, we're in the last final stretch here. We have five sessions, including today. Um, today, we're going to be covering a, a more general topic rather than looking at specific geoms, like here's how you use geom call or here's how you use geom tile. Um, what we're doing today and for the next couple sessions is looking at a, a more general application of these data visualization principles for specific domains. Um, so today we'll talk about time. Um, the next session we'll talk about uh, geography or space. And then the session after that we'll talk about how to visualize text. Because um, there are specific techniques that you use. They're all related to everything that you've learned. Um, but these are how you do it in these specific circumstances when we're looking at time or these other situations. So let's go ahead and get started. If you go to the slides for today, um, we're talking about time. So we're talking about three general topics. Um, first, we're going to talk about some issues with axes, um, with um, when it's okay to truncate them or scale them down. Uh, we talked a little bit about this already when we talked about comparisons and amounts and proportions, um, where you're never supposed to truncate the y-axis when there's a bar chart. Um, but there are circumstances where it is legal, and we'll talk about that um, in this section. Then we'll talk about some different ways of visualizing time. Um, there's no one specific way. There's no one perfect way. Um, basically, you can throw any geom you want at time, and it'll visualize it somehow. Um, so there's not like one universal way of, of looking at this stuff. And then we'll talk about how to specifically, or some other issues that we have with time, um, specifically dealing with how we start and end our stories and things to look out for when you're telling your stories, um, like seasonality and other issues that will pop up. So let's go ahead and get started.